Hello, I've been growing in these small X-cut flower water buckets for a number of years now and I've had lots of successes growing vegetables in them. They far exceeded my expectations in terms of what's possible to grow in such a small bucket. And over the years I've had lots of comments and questions about these buckets. First off, the usual one is, where do you get them? Let me show you this. Okay, so that was a snap I took quite recently uh, in my local Morrison's. Uh, I bought a bunch of uh, X cut flower water buckets, brought them home. But you've obviously got to put some holes in these things if you're going to make them uh, into a pot that you can grow in. Okay, so they do need drainage holes. So let me show you this. And really, this is something else um, that this video is about. I'll tell you dimensions first. Okay. 10 inches, 10 inches, and the old 10 litres. So they're about half the size of a 5 gallon water bucket. Okay, right, let me just do this. Hope you can see the holes in the bottom. four holes that I've drilled in the bottom of these X-cut flower water buckets uh, and I will say now, although I'm sure I see it in the video that I'm going to cut you to if you're going to drill holes in the bottom of these you need to be very careful because you will split the bottom these things are not designed to have holes drilled in them they're designed to hold cut flowers um, so I'll show you the way I do it, no split bottoms, uh, there are probably other ways you can do it uh, but if I show you the way I do it then I know I'm showing you something that works. Right, let's talk about what it's possible to grow in these small water buckets. I've grown leeks in these small water buckets. I've grown onions in these small water buckets. These are some of those onions that I still have. These have been in store now about four months and they're still a sound onion. I haven't lost any of these but I have actually grown onions in those water buckets. There's the proof. I've grown beetroot in these small water buckets. I've grown carrots in these small water buckets. I've grown celery in these small water buckets. I've grown potatoes in these small water buckets. I've grown shallots in these small water buckets. These are some gourmet shallots that I grew this year. They're uh, storing well. I've, I've strung those. These onions, I've been keeping those in those plast blue plastic crates that you'll see me using from time to time. Just store them in a a cold garage. I 
and yeah, and these have stored for four months, nearly five months. These are the um, gourmet shallots. And if you stop for space, you might want to make yourself a square foot bucket garden. I've also grown cucumbers and courgettes in these small water buckets. I've grown tomatoes in these small water buckets. I think you've had enough of that by now, haven't you? Basically, I've just about grown everything you can grow in the vegetable line in these small water buckets. Just about everything. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut you to the video that I shot uh, a number of years ago when I first started growing in these small water buckets. And it's, it's only a short video. It's me producing some holes, drilling some holes in the bottom of the buckets. And as I've said, this is how I do it, and this is how I avoid splitting the bottom of the buckets. I think when I shot that video, it was about two or three years ago, and it was in the summer months, and I've tagged onto it uh, some footage of me and my dog Molly out in the countryside, and on reflection, I think me and Molly only had about three months left together when I shot that video. Uh, I knew Molly was ill. I knew we didn't have long left. But we kept on keeping on. That was the vet's advice. Keep on keeping on and we did that. And I think about three months after I shot that little clip of video, Molly went on ahead this is a stack of uh, buckets I'm going to be uh, drilling today. Uh, I want to show you this trick uh, before we go any further. Uh, you may find that when you stack these buckets one inside the other, they are quite a tight fit and they sometimes get wedged one inside the other and you can't part them. Watch this. Parted, 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 parted. Party. How easy is that? They haven't got stuck together. Why is that? Let's have a look. Let's see what keeps them apart. Milk bottle top. Just throw it in the bottom. Milk bottle top. Anything. Just put it in the bottom of the bucket before you stack them and they will not stick together. Anything at all small pebble, anything. I tend to use these bottle tops and the don't stick together. So that's just a tip before we get started. Right, okay. Let's move these to one side um, and start drilling these water buckets. Now what you're going to need obviously is a drill <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Uh, and my choice of drill bit, it's about a quarter of an inch. I'm not 100% certain on the size of that, but it, it looks quarter of an inch drill bit. Okay. Turn your bucket upside down. Okay. Do not drill that. The reason I don't want you to drill that is the drill will follow through. It'll split the bottom of that bucket. So we're going to drill it, or we're not. We're going to use this one as a support. And we're going to drill this one. Okay. In the past, I've used this block of wood, and I think you can see from it, it's, it's, it's well used. I've simply sat it on there, put the next bucket over the top, bish, bash, bosh, four holes. Was a shot of a bosch there? Bish, bash, bosch, bosch. <laughs> 
photo holes and that wooden block under the base of this bucket supports the base and so you don't split it. Um, but I've got a bit professional since I first done this <laughs> and I've made myself uh, a block that sits better. Uh, but, but this worked, this worked, it's, it's no problem, but I made that. How good's that? And I think you can see there are a few small holes in there where I've actually used it before. And then we'll pop this on top, like this. That is solid. That is solid. Okay, now we're just going to produce these holes in four positions, like this. One. Two, three, four. How's that? And so on, and on, and on, and on. And that's it. Okay. And when you get to your very last bucket, um, then use one that's already drilled, pop that on top. Pop that on top. Let's do this one because we've got it set up. One, two, three, four. How quick was that? How quick was that? And no split bottoms. So that's the way I do it. Um, you may want to do it another way, but that's the way I do it. Okay. So this is homegrown veg. Signing out.